Hey there, my name is Shauna and I'm going to go over a stretch sequence that you can do if you're in a position that you can't get down on the floor. Maybe it's hard for you to get on, on off the ground or maybe you're just in a situation that it doesn't work for you to get down on the ground. Um, this is going to help open up our front of our body, the back of the body, side of the body. It's going to incorporate both like the shoulders, hips, and just an overall stretch. So here we go. Uh, I'm using a chair. So just one will work. You're going to stand back behind the chair about a foot and a half or so. Slight bend in the knees, strong core, and you're just, you know, readjust your feet however you need. I'm probably a good two feet behind at this point. And then strong in the hips, support through the shoulders, and just gently start to bring your hips forward and rock back. Really important here to stay strong through the, both the shoulders and the core. You don't want to have any tension in the low back. And just notice I'm starting to go a little farther each time, but whenever you find where your end point is, where you're like, that challenges me, you know, just stay there for yourself. Now, as I'm starting to get my hips a little bit farther forward, I'm starting to add the head and neck into it, where I'm pulling the shoulder blades back and down, engaging the glutes, looking up. Dropping back in the back part of it, dropping the head between the arms, shifting forward, looking up, engaging those glutes, staying long through the chest. And let's talk about the breathing here. So I'm going to breathe out, engaging the glutes. And then as I push back, I breathe into my back. And then forward, breathe out. Let's go about two more here. Breathe in. out one more in and out all right so from here we're going to start to walk the feet in a little bit closer and i know you can't see my feet but i'm just simply pedaling out the heels okay if you need to take a break you can come up a little bit higher or if it's a little bit too much on the back come up a little bit higher on the chair position you could even be balancing off like the back of a chair as long as you have something that's sturdy for you and just walk the feet out like this. All right, so next, I'm gonna sit down. You can do this from standing as well for if you wanna balance. What it would look like from standing is you cross your foot over, be more of an advanced stretch, and you sit back, do like a standing figure four, and today we're gonna do it seated. So I come up on the edge of the chair, sitting nice and tall, I'm gonna, if you need to extend the one leg out as you pull the other foot to the thigh and then walk it in as much as you can to pull this ankle in towards the hip a little bit closer. We're gonna sit nice and tall and then just gently bow forward and I'm using this hand lightly on this knee to drive down. We're gonna hold this about 20 seconds. Nice deep breaths. Feel free to relax your eyes and close them for a moment. Got one more breath here and now we'll switch same thing on the other side as needed extend the opposite leg and then pull that heel up and in sitting as tall as you can up out of your spine if you'd like give a little overpressure with the same hand to the same knee and we're going to 